Hi everybody, I'm at the home of Lorene Landon, famous movie star and a beauty to boot. She's dressed up for us today. Lorene, you want to open your coat or your kimono and show us your beautiful gown? I've, she... I've been here for three weeks waiting for the red carpet event. I thought you were coming to pick me up for the red carpet event. <laughs> I've been yet. in the same dress for three weeks. <laughs> I love your shoes. Huh? I love your shoes. Well, I can only wear high heels for so long. <laughs> I wear this to do the laundry. This outfit, like I said, for three weeks. Where's there's no red carpet event? <laughs> no, there isn't, my dear. We're all held hostage in our homes. It, it's Armageddon. It's we're uh, we're all under house arrest for That's something we right. didn't do. I, well, I probably don't want to do that because that might upset some people. That's why who I brought been my shot shotgun. By a drive by shooter. <laughs> I do. I, this is a shotgun. <laughs> No, I use this in a movie, some stupid movie I did. <laughs> anyway, we're in the beautiful part of downtown Los Angeles. Hancock Park. What is it? Hancock Park. Hancock Park. And these are beautiful homes that are like, tell us about your house. I understand it's a historical home. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was built in uh, 1905 by the Green and Green Brothers, Henry and Charles Green. And uh, it's the only Green and Green in Los Angeles. The others are in Pasadena. And I have to open the house once a year to show um, the West Adams Heritage Association and they so they come through for all the up-and-coming architects. I can take you on a tour through the house but you've already been yeah, on it. Yeah, how many it, movies so. have you done? Uh, over 38. Over 38. Oh, I'm so yeah, happy airplane. that you and I are working in a movie. Yes, yes you're playing, you're my, playing my husband. Wife. My wife you play. Yes, I am. I know, and that's in Clown Motel, Motel Two. And what's the rest of it? Motel Two, something, something, something. Clown Motel Two. Um, and there's Joseph Kelly else and Angela. Joseph is uh, right. the executive producer, so I'm really excited about uh, working with them. And then I'm doing a Churchill's movie uh, from China to China, and I just got a brand new agent. I can't say his name because I haven't signed. And I have Nations of Fire opposite Bruce Stern on all platforms right now. And um, what else? Uh, Agramon Skate, directed by Harley Walleen. And um, I've done Maniac Cop 1 and 2. I've done a ton, I've done a ton of movies, a lot of movies. So um, it's really hard to be, uh, I feel like I'm handcuffed. Uh, um, thank God I have my dogs because I walk my dogs every day three miles. My pit bulls, I rescue, please rescue, rescue, rescue. Um, don't breed for greed. I'm working on a screenplay right now uh, called Dog Pen, uh, Canines, Cons, Chaos. So it's a dramedy, but the thematic echo is rescue. Don't breed for greed. I love that saying, don't breed for greed. I made That's that up. That's terrific. That's yeah. a great saying. All right, what else would you like to say before I move on? I'd like, to say, to, I'd like to say, everybody, don't panic. I think it's a conspiracy, personally. I think uh, there's a lot more to this than what they're letting on because uh, we never had the lockdown of the world when the SARS hit, uh, when the horrific AIDS epidemic hit, and they didn't know for a year and a half what happened or what the cause was from the AIDS epidemic, but people were dying like flies, and nobody shut down the world. The whole entire country world is shut down, so I think it's a lot more duplicitous than what they're letting on. I have my own uh, speculation as to what it is, but I'm not going to go there because um, I'll get in trouble with the left. Anyway, so. Thank I just, you, my sweetie pie. Thank you so and much. I can't wait to hug you and kiss you again. I want to hug you and kiss you too. Because you're one of my special loves, you know that. Thank you so much for interviewing me, and I love you, everybody out there, and, and, and World Star PR is the best PR on earth. That's Jimmy Star. So, and Eileen Shapiro. And Eileen Shapiro. And I'll tell you, my, as you saw, my IMDB numbers last week were 306, and that's because of Jimmy Star, World Star PR. If it wasn't for Jimmy Star, my IMDB numbers would not have been 306, and that is phenomenal. I mean, there's a hundred million actors, actresses, producers, directors uh, in the industry, and to be in the top 300, top 500 is 
a miracle, and that miracle is Jimmy Starr. So if you want the greatest publicity, and nobody asked me to say this at all, um, this is extemporaneous, the best publicity in the world is one Jimmy Starr over there. And you guys rescue, and I love you so much for that too. So get the hell off my property! <laughs>